Pretty much every game in the bundle that I want, I have in any game that I don't want. It doesn't matter because I don't want it. I might pick it up for the at the $30 price so I can get games like The Witness and stuff and give them away. Because publishers don't don't allow an unlimited number of stuff like that. <coughs> if they're if they're giving away the game for a discount with hum Humble Bundle, part of their contract is like up to X number of keys, so that they don't basically lose their shirts. I guess. I mean, there's still infrastructure for supporting new users for a game. It's not like well, it's already made, so it's free to just give it out to new people. A lot of those games do have infrastructure that you have to deal with. Alright, just had to get that cough out of my system. Beyond just adding server infrastructure, if the game calls back to some sort of central server for any sort of reason, you've also got to deal with customer support. So every person who's getting the game is a potential customer support ticket, and you've got to be able to support all those people. So there's hidden costs, is I guess what I'm saying, that, that makes it so that publishers do not want to give out an unlimited number of them. How? How did that end up working? I just, I don't have any answers for some of these questions. Oh, he was going to hit me, but that's okay, because if he had hit me at, like, any different time, I would be dead, so I think it was, I think I lucked out there. Mr. Cab, it goes really good. Well, those games might have been under a different contract for a different number or an unlimited number of keys. It really just depends. I mean, publishers write their own contracts. If Humble Bundle's gonna include the game, they have to abide by a contract. Hey, Bismuth. I like your face, it looks good. Your face, not my face that you posted. No, sir. Surprised it counted that hit. Did I do the thing? <coughs> You'll have to be more specific. Did I get my own face tattooed on my body? Absolutely not. I'm terrified of getting a tattoo. I mean, what if you find out down the road that's not something you want to have tattooed on your body? You're stuck with it. Oh, did I apply for a partner? Yeah, I applied. I'm just waiting to hear back. Like I said before, when I know, you guys will all be the second to know. Those bits are appreciated. 
Can you just tell me how to pronounce your name? The most pronounceable form of it I can think you think of it is just putting it backwards, which would be Gacy. But like, how do you want people to say your name? I put a lot of effort into making sure I pronounce people's names right. Like, I just feel like that's something that people should care about more. And I just don't know where to start with you, to be honest. Metal loss. Psychag? Okay. Sizzy gag. That is kind of cute, though. I mean, you're right. She's right. <laughs> Dust bulb get. I'm going to do my best to be in top health for video games. literally named after an element on the pe periodic table. I appreciate the offer, Mr. Cab, and trust me, I would not turn down your soup, but um, my cough, I think, is more related to <coughs> aspirating cleaning chemicals rather than uh, actually being sick. <coughs> Yo, welcome to the stream, Kamikaze Scotsman. Slightly too early of a spot. It's a pretty dry cough, yeah. I mean, I've got some mucus that's unrelated, but it's a it's a really dry cough. I may go get my last Gatorade in a second. Drinking was what seemed to help me the most. Well, funny enough, the specific thing I was using to clean was um, a cleaner with bleach in it. Which made Sky and Darkman and CT all make jokes about how I was, I was taking the drink the bleach meme a little too seriously. Meanwhile, I was dying of a 101 fever, but... Steven, 101 is a temperature in Fahrenheit. It's considerably higher than the typical body temperature. I understand that since you guys do everything in Celsius, it's a lot harder to have that sort of granularity, but it's it's considered to be somewhat high.
that mess up was totally my fault, 100%. put in a jump input wrong. <coughs> Can you just jump, you idiot? Jesus. Uh, if I'm doing the math in my head right, 40, 40 degrees Celsius is like go to the hospital temperature. That's not what I had. Unless I'm just doing the math wrong in my head. By all means, someone can just tell me I'm wrong. But Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today. That was a good fight. Not perfect, I had to readjust at one point, but otherwise it was really good. It's so dangerous to take that angle on that wall. Like, you have to take a pretty oblique angle on those walls. But if you get that angle wrong and it puts you too close to the enemy, if you slide back and fail on it, then, uh, then you fall into the enemy that kills you instantly. I need to stop talking while I'm trying to do wall climbs. Jesus Christ. Learn your lesson off the blues. Get your life in order. It's so dangerous for me to not line that jump up, but I lose too much time not lining it up. <coughs> well, Psychag, I have a TurboGrafx-16, and uh, I just ordered a TurboGrafx-16 flash cart. Sleep Cycles and Psychedelic Eyeball, both with the auto host. Appreciate it, buds. What am I going to run? Uh, if history is any indication, everything.
Well, I got my TurboGrafx-16 for, for free from a friend. Maybe, Steven. Maybe. A good buddy of mine, Scavenger, uh, he upgraded his TurboGrafx-16 to a PC engine and uh, gave me his TurboGrafx-16. This was like a year ago, and I haven't been able to get an opportunity to actually play it. <coughs> but I finally came into a little bit of money, so I used it to buy a PC, or a TurboGrafx-16 flashcard. I don't know, maybe Steven would know. I don't actually know the answer to that question. What did I run into? You're so full of shit, game. Hard disagree. Hard disagree. Fuck you, game. What a piece of shit. For nothing, assholes. Thanks for nothing. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't mad right now. I can save a full minute on the last boss though, so... I'm just gonna play this level super aggressive. I've literally got nothing to lose at this point.
Yeah, probably. Vomiting was probably actually the goal. A design decision, if you will. Play that stage super aggressively and earn back all my time. Screw you, game. You're not going to take this from me. back to games that I really enjoy, like Wanda Gamble on. And no, I don't mean that sarcastically. I did not deserve that. I deserve right now to be dead. That's what I deserve. I deserve all the punishment that comes from being dead. Not really, insert name here. Alright, the final boss of this game is total dog shit. I may pick up an extra life, but honestly, if I don't beat this boss first try, I don't know if I even want to, if I even care about this run. you to actually kill me. Thank you. Alright, that was an intentional death. Theoretically, if I don't... If I don't lose any more lives here, I should be able to get... Or if I don't lose any more health here, I shouldn't have to force a death. Ah. 
Couldn't even finish the deal, huh? Fuck you. Please tell me they didn't all reset themselves. Please just tell me that. Thank you. Okay. I will force a death here to get all my health back because the likelihood of me surviving this without it is very low. Yeah. You get three hits per life. It pops up in the top right hand corner anytime I take a hit. Okay, this fight's impossible. Obviously didn't count. What? Okay, with only one of them left, this fight should be a lot easier. But no guarantees. Oh, no. Bad. One more hit. And that happens. Yes. Yes. A lot of the 180 people here are um, people who are here from hosts, so. <coughs> oh, the fast disk speed fucked up the final cutscene. Nice. I think it's safe to say that we did the thing, okay? I think it's safe to say. <laughs>